Well, weather and traffic together, and despite what you see on your cars this morning, we are headed for a warm-up. Today looks to be uh, the mildest day so far this year. In the month of January, it's been running below average, but on the car tops this morning, a little bit of frost, and some of that icing over may extend down to the roadways and sidewalks too. So not out of the question to see some patchy black ice very early this morning over, say, the next hour or so. But today is expected this afternoon to be the mildest day of the year so far. Temperatures running finally above average by about 5 to 10 degrees. On Sunday night into Monday, we're watching a storm system. There's a lot of questions still yet to be answered about the track of that storm and what it will bring, but temperatures are very marginal for us to see possibly a messy mixture of rain, some wet snow, and possibly some sleet. Enough snow or sleet that there's even the potential for some accumulations with that system. I definitely check back in over the weekend. We're still a couple of days out, and I'll let you know what I'm thinking right now as we get later into uh, this future cast. But heading out the door this morning, not a ton of problems. Temperatures in the upper 20s. It's milder than it's been last few days. We're already back to 33 in Taunton, 35 in New Bedford, and 37 in Newport. So that's a sign of that mild air coming in on a southwesterly flow. Live city cam pictures. Some of the frost forming because of that higher humidity up to 92% right now. West-southwest winds at about 7 miles per hour. And the wind chill with some gusty winds still running in the teens at times. So it is cool at the bus stop, but 27 to 33 under mostly sunny skies. Patchy cloud Clouds will move through this afternoon. There's a very weak cold front off to our west, but not a big change in temperature. In fact, very small change in temperature behind the front. So what you'll notice with it are those extra clouds coming through at times and a shift in the wind. You can see patchy clouds now over central Pennsylvania. Those are going to shift uh, to the east today. Meanwhile, it's pretty quiet today and tomorrow, so we're going to focus our attention on that system that's developing right now in the Gulf of Mexico over coastal Texas, southern Louisiana. This is a system bringing heavy rain to the deep south that will eventually move our direction and likely pass uh, south and east of Nantucket. But how close it comes to the coast will help determine whether we see uh, mainly rain or more uh, snow or sleet with that system. But here's the future cast. This takes you from today at noon right into your Sunday morning. So high pressure overall keeps us dry for the majority of the weekend daytime. This is Sunday morning at 6. Very weak front once again comes through on Sunday, bringing with it just some slightly cooler air. Low pressure then working its way off the mid-Atlantic coastline, and from there again, it'll track south and east of Nantucket. And again, very borderline in terms of temperatures, and that'll determine the rain snow line. But for this afternoon, breezy and mild, partly cloudy, temperatures 43 to 47. 44 for a high in Newport. Great looking afternoon in Charlestown, a little breezy, partly cloudy. Northern suburbs into the 40s for highs today. Burrowville at 44, situated at about 46. And some spots may even climb into the upper 40s. Taunton has a chance of doing that. Mild sunshine, partly cloudy, dry. In Fall River at about 44 degrees. We'll be back to mostly clear skies tonight. Cool and dry with temperatures in the mid-20s. Then for the weekend, again, Saturday looks great. Sunshine and 43. Increasing clouds, so it turns mostly cloudy by Sunday afternoon with a high around 39. Evening and nighttime is when we're watching for that threat of some rain and possibly that heavy wet snow. Right now, the coastal areas have the best chance of seeing just mainly rain. While as you travel further inland, especially into the higher elevations, that's where you could get into more of that messy mixture of snow or sleet. It'll continue into the morning hours, mainly on Martin Luther King Day on Monday. And I do expect it to dry out Monday afternoon. Dry Tuesday at 36 and some light snow possible on